مرحبا اهلا وسهلا بكم still on page 6 so this lesson is coming from page 6 and we continue our analysis of how to describe your house or the area where you live we're now on the second paragraph but first of all let's deal with the relevant vocabulary Matbakhun, a kitchen, hadiqatun, a garden, masbahun, a swimming pool, tedfiatun, heating, duyufun, guests, and that's plural of doyfun, a guest, duyufun, guest, taamun, yum yum, food, taamun, food, mudakara, Study. Atabik, the floor or the story, meaning like a first floor, first story, a building. Al awal, the first. Afani, the second. Ghurfa, ghurfatun, a room, plural is ghuraf. Naum, sleep. Sleep. Hammam, bathroom. Mirhad, toilet. Asis, a flower pot. Usus, as a plural, flower pots. Zuhurun, flowers. Zirrun, a push button. Majmua, a collection or group. Amam, in front of. Khelf, behind we need to learn this vocabulary so that when we read the second paragraph on page six the meaning becomes so obvious to us and we make further progress let's look at the second paragraph then now let's look at the uh, the second paragraph using your vocabulary i hope you will be able to understand the meaning baytuna min ajmal al buyut fi al mintaqa wa huwa baytun munfasil wa mu'allaf min tabiqayn fi al tabiq al ardi ghurfatun lit ta'am wa matbakh wa mirhad وحمام صغير في الطابق الأول غرفة للجلوس بيتنا that's mean our houses من أجمل البيوت is one of the most beautiful houses في المنطقة in the area بيتنا من أجمل البيوت من أجمل البيوت في المنطقة. Our house is one of the most beautiful houses in the area. وهو and it is we say هو because referring to بيتن which is masculine. وهو بيتن منفصل and it is a, a detached house. وهو بيت منفصل it is a detached house ومؤلف من طابقين and it comprises of two floors طابق now طابقين genitive because of من من طابقين في الطابق الأرضي on the ground floor أرض من floor I mean earth as well في الطابق الأرضي on the ground floor, غرفةٌ للطعام. Literally mean a, a room for eating, for food. So, meaning dining room. So, in the ground floor, there is a dining room. ومطبخٌ and a kitchen. ومرحاضٌ a toilet. وحمامٌ صغيرٌ and a small bathroom. في الطابق الأول 
On the first floor, there is Ghurfatun Lil Julus. Ghurfatun means a room. Lil Julus means for sitting. That means sitting room. Ghurfatun Lil Julus. Baituna min ajmalil buyut. Fil min taqa. Wa huwa baitun munfasilun wa muallafun min tabiqayni. Fi tabiq al-ardi ghurfatun lil ta'am. Wa matbakhun wa mirhadun wa hammamun saghir. Wa fi tabiq al-awwal ghurfatun lil julus. Let's now move to the second part. وَغُرْفَةٌ لِلْمُذَاكَرَةِ And a room for study. That means study room. وَغُرْفَةٌ لِلْمُذَاكَرَةِ وَغُرْفَةٌ وَغُرْفَةُ نَوْمٍ وَغُرْفَةٌ لِلْمُذَاكَرَةِ A study room. وَغُرْفَةُ نَوْمٍ مُتَوَسِّطَ لِلْدُّيُوفِ And a medium room. For guest. Wa ghurfa tu naumin. Mutawasita. That's medium. Lib duyuf. For guests. Fi tabiq al-thani. On the second floor. Arba'u ghurafin linnaum. Four bedrooms. Arba'u ghurafin linnaum. Four bedrooms. Arba'u is four. Ghuraf, that's a plural of ghurfatun, that means rooms. Lidnaum, meaning four sleeping. So, uh, on the second floor, there are four bedrooms. Arba'u ghurafin lidnaum. Wahammaman, and two bathrooms. Ma'al mirhad, with toilets. Reading again. بيتنا من أجمل البيوت في المنطقة، وهو بيت منفصل ومؤلف من من ناحيتين من من طابقين، وهو بيت منفصل ومؤلف من طابقين. في الطابق الأرضي غرفة للطعام ومطبخ ومرحاض وحمام صغير. وفي الطابق الأول غرفة للجلوس وغرفة للمذاكرة وغرفة نوم متوسطة للضيوف في الطابق الثاني أربع غرف للنوم وحمامان مع المرحاض Here we go Please go back to Page six, read the first paragraph as we analyzed in the last lesson, and this paragraph as analyzed in this lesson. You will be more and more, you become more and more comfortable with your understanding of Arabic if you are doing your part, which is to learn your vocabulary and look how those vocabularies are employed to make sentences and paragraphs. Good luck. I see you next time. Now our next lesson, inshallah, God willing. Ma'assalama ila liqa fi amalillah.